Just a quick video today because I want to show you the difference between the QRX, the Walkera QRX 350's internal construction and the, what is it, the DJI Phantom which is a very popular multi-rotor and uh, they're both in the same class and now they cost about the same but let's have a look, this is the DJI unit and look at the neatness of that soldering there, see how the you know as I mentioned before there's no extraneous wire hanging off there and there's nice bright balls of solder it's, it's really quite nice. And down here, where the lead to the receiver goes off, this, this is an ESC, this is where the re receiver lead goes off. Look, they've put silicon on there to support the wires so they're not going to suffer from vibration and fracture and stress and things. I mean, that is just brilliant. That's the way it should look. And again, on the main power distribution board, we can see that, you know, again, the soldering here is really good. There's nice bright, the, the insulation comes right up to the solder ball and it's nice bright solder and it's, it's not, there's not mess everywhere, there's no little jagged edges poking out because I've overheated the solder. It's, it's really quite good and again down here some silicon to protect the wire from bending and stretching and causing the soldering joints to break off there. Um, I mean this is, this is quality stuff, this is what you would expect from a unit that's costing several hundred dollars. Other nice touches, so this capacitor here has got silicon holding it to the board so it's not simply held up by its leads which would cause it to fray and uh, you know vibration would cause the leads to flex and they would stress and eventually they'd break so they've put silicon there to hold it on that's very very good and again the soldering on this one lovely soldering brilliant can't complain and the wiring out to here it I noticed on the wall Kera some of the wiring was actually getting snagged on some of these little posts here there was indentations in the insulation where it had been clamped on incorrectly these go nicely they run nicely not the wire is not too long not too short very neat layout um, it looks very very nice indeed I'm really happy with that I'd be much happier with one of these than the Walkera when it comes to the quality of construction and I guess you know um, the QRX350 was touted as a a competitor to the to the DJI system but really when it comes to quality there is just no comparison and I notice here even where we've got a little servo connector going onto the board they put silicon just to hold that stop that falling off these are little things that mean you can fly your craft without having to worry about it falling out of the sky because something's been done wrong I mean this is top marks um, this isn't supposed to be a review of the DJI product but it's pretty easy to see from this that the DJI is streets ahead of the Walkera in terms of its quality of construction. So yeah, thumbs up to DJI and you know, as I said the other day, not good enough Walkera. And for those who haven't seen inside the DJI NASA of DJI Phantom before, this is what they look like. This is what's in them. There's the, the NASA controller unit. You've got your power distribution board, you've got an ESC for each motor, you've got your motors. I mean it's all pretty basic stuff. It's very similar to the to the Walkera. I mean you can't really change much. And here's the lid off the thing. It's got the GPS up here in the roof just like the QRX doesn't have a copper shield over it but um, obviously doesn't seem to need it that's just the lid of the Phantom so yeah um, really good you think Walkera if they're going to copy a basic layout and things they could have improved on it instead of making it worse here is something rather interesting the the Walkera has a, a dimension 7 channel well I don't know how many channels but it's got a, a receiver and it comes in a box with areas and things this is the um, phantom receiver. See it's just this little board here and uh, the antenna runs off the side over here and so they haven't even bothered putting it in a case it's just a little board that screws onto the thing. Oh, there's no need to put it in a case when it's inside the whole unit and if you get one of these it's pretty obvious that uh, it's got a um, CCPM output here or CPM output whatever you know multiplexed only one lead that goes from the receiver over to the controller so if you've got a receiver, I'm a free sky make them, if you've got another receiver that has the same kind of output then hey, you could probably replace that receiver with your own because I know a lot of people complain that the range on most of these little 350 size ready to fly multi-rotors is fairly limited. I think they claim 300 meters for this. If you go with the free sky system, well, you know, so I've flown those to two kilometers with the standard RF system and you know, you could quite greatly extend the range of your little helicopter. It looks like it'll be a fairly easy job. Maybe um, a project sometime in the future when I've caught up is to put a free sky receiver in the Phantom and just see how much different it is. And for those wanting to know where part two of the Walkera review is, well look, the weather's crap, it's blowing, it's raining. As soon as it clears, part two will be up.